Welcome Leo to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit me on my website at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the one watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides, all angels, nights, and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Leo. So before we begin, uh, I'd like to go ahead and burn some Palo Santo to kind of uh, clear up my energy and space. I hope you all are doing well. And as I'm recording, today is the 4th of July, so... Happy Independence uh, Day uh, to all those who celebrate here in the United States and also the Canadians um, actually had their Independence Day also. Okay, Leo, so let's go ahead and see who is coming towards you in love. Spirit, please reveal to me clear messages in regards to the person that Leo is connecting with in love. And Leo, what is your energy towards this person? What is the current overall energy, please, Spirit, of this person that Leo is connecting with in love? What is the energy? Let's see. Dang. Uh, this is very straightforward. Release your ex. <laughs> now, I really feel like uh, if you're dealing with this person, this person could be releasing their ex, or maybe they're on the vibration uh, that you, Leo, need to release your ex. Now, take it as it resonates. The time has come to clear your energy. And we also have a past life relationship. You have known each other before. So I really feel that your person uh, is actually letting go of a karmic situation. They know that this is a repeat, uh, you know, uh, energy from a previous life coming into this uh, particular lifetime. Yes, you have known each other before. So energetically, your person feels that you do have a past life connection or relationship and um, there's a karmic interference uh, that is going on with your particular person of interest. So let's see here. Well, so we're dealing with uh, maybe an old love. Maybe uh, your person is releasing uh, someone from their past also. Okay, uh, that's the feeling I'm getting. There's someone that's already in this person's energy uh, that they're actually dealing with, and I feel like they're letting them go. That's actually good news, especially if this person is uh, your love interest. Okay, now with you, Leo, calling in your soulmate. So you're not calling this person in. You have already prayed and affirmed and visualized about you guys being together, but I really feel like you are no longer counting on it. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. And also, you're paying attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So, this is what I'm getting. 
you already dealt with this person before. You don't know if you're going to take their uh, situation as truth. If this person is coming to you and they are actually letting go of a karmic partner to come towards you, that's one thing. But in reality, Leo, I really feel that you're using your intuition. Okay, you're trying to pay attention to the red flags. This person may still be with a karmic partner and you're not calling them in. So I really, I, I have a feeling that you already know this person. Okay, but you definitely have some sort of karma uh, between you two. So let's see. Spirit, please bring forth clear messages in regards to this person that Leo is uh, connecting with at this time. What is going on with the unconscious of this person? And what is going on with your unconscious towards them? And what are your energies towards each other? What is going on with the unconscious or subconscious? Thank you. Well, we have Muse. So I really feel that your person is trying to be creative on how to release their ex. Now, they're actually vibrating on a higher frequency. This person is actually changing. They're ascending. They're possibly going through some sort of ascension. They have a re realization that you guys are connected in some way. Something uh, that is more than just a, a basic connection. And did you guys see that? My light cut on. Man, there must be some... Uh, <laughs> some paranormal activity going on here <laughs> just saying you know as i said that you know this person is vibrating on a higher frequency and i really feel like uh they're questioning who is their tribe now i definitely see that uh your person is dealing with a past connection okay and they have already created uh like a group or a family or some kind of a like kind of a, you know, a, like a family unit with this person. So they're being creative on releasing this individual. And I really feel like you're not, you're not uh, believing it. You don't understand. Uh, I really feel like Leo, okay, you're really blocking off your higher self or possibly your intuition. Um, you're no longer, uh, you know, believing in what you cannot see you want to see results i really feel like it's because you're tired of this person saying that they're going to release their ex or you know they're going to change so i definitely feel that you already known this person okay and i also see here unawakened but it's in reverse so uh what i'm feeling is that you are awakened you're seeing the red flags you're not going to budge on your thoughts about this individual until they show up and show you something. I really feel like uh, this person definitely has karma with uh, a karmic person. Okay, so let's see. Spirit, please bring forth clear messages in regards to uh, the person that Leo is connecting with at this time. What is the energy or vibration of the person that Leo is connecting with? If the karmic energy wants to come through, please reveal karmic energy. Why is it such an issue for this person uh, to really try to be creative about letting someone go? Okay. And also, if Leo, you want to come into uh, this channeling, please reveal your presence in this energy. Thank you. So I see here, okay, so your person feels like there's too much time that has passed. They don't know what to do. They're hurt, they're, they're blocked, but they're tired of guarding themselves, okay? And what I'm seeing is that they just want to be stable. Uh, I really feel like for some, uh, your person's birthday is coming up. Maybe it's your birthday. Okay. Uh, but I really feel like it's your person's birthday 
you know for some it's at the end of this month or it could be in uh, August but your person is really thinking okay what are they fighting for they're really trying to be stable but they're not communicating to you that's why I really feel that um, Leo your person here they're unawakened and I really feel that you're not going to call them in. Okay. Because you see that there is a, a red flag here. You want to know if your person is going to be creative to release their person. I really feel like you're dealing with another fire sign, but they could have air in their chart. This person isn't really uh, communicating to you what their next steps are. That's why, you know, um, you really want them to come through is what I'm getting. You know, I really have a strong feeling that you're dealing with a Libra. Now, this person wants to make things fair. And uh, what I'm feeling is that if they're in a relationship with someone in the physical sense, I feel like uh, they're trying to balance something out so they can leave that person so they can come forward towards you. I feel a, a very strongly it could be a Libra, okay, or an air sign, but I definitely feel like it could be another fire sign, but this could be your energy here. So I really feel that they're really guarded and maybe approaching you for your birthday because they're not completely uh, you know, uh, done and over with the karmic energy. They want to make you an offer. And I really feel like the karmic, the person that they're with is very controlling. Okay. They could be manipulative, very bossy. And they're trying to release this energy. That's where the creativity is coming from. So they're dealing with a tricky situation with a tricky person is what I'm getting. And uh, I really feel like they're trying to get out of their uh, attachment by ending the relationship with them. For some, you know, they're ending it with a Gemini. And what I'm getting here is that they, they want to uh, approach you and possibly be uh, be a little bit playful. <laughs> you know, I really feel that they're like, hey, hey, Leo, how's it going? And you're like, where'd you come from? What do you want this time, right? That's the feeling I'm getting from you, Leo. You're like, what do you want? You know, uh, why can't you leave me alone? <laughs> is because this person uh, doesn't have the confidence uh, to really approach you because of their situation. You know, I, I keep getting a birthday. For some, maybe you're dealing with a cancer. Okay. Um, this person is heartbroken that, you know, they couldn't really celebrate with you. I really feel like maybe it was a missed opportunity to uh, wish someone a happy birthday. I keep getting a happy birthday vibe. Like, to me, like somebody's birthday, either it's your birthday or their birthday, but usually you guys would wish each other a happy birthday, but not this time, at least not this year. And someone doesn't feel good. Honestly, I feel like somebody was preparing uh, for someone's birthday, but uh, the plans didn't fall through. And I feel like it's because your person is dealing with the karmic partner. And it didn't work out for whatever reason. So this person is being creative, right? So I keep getting this creativity coming from this individual. They're going to send you uh, like a meme, a picture, uh, some kind of like emoji, something. Okay. But I feel like it's very creative. It's going to make you smile. You're like, who, who is this joker, right? <laughs> Your person's really trying, Leo. And Leo, you're like, mm, is this all they got? But secretly, you do like it, right? Because they feel left out in the cold. They don't know if you're going to take them back. And, you know, I really feel that you're aware, okay, that you need to set healthy boundaries 
with this person because this person comes in and out and you don't know if they're ready to move forward towards you because there is a karmic that is in the way so either they're actively resolving this issue or they say that they're working on it you don't know but i really feel that um you don't really uh, understand your person about how they uh do things okay and you're just tired of trying you want results that's what I keep getting and you're, you're over the playtime or the playfulness you want someone structured and solid and I really see that you know they can't really be with you at least not in the way that you would like but they really see that you really do make them happy and they're starting to see that they need to put things into action. I honestly feel like your person is doing something. It may not be enough for you, Leo, but I'm just going to tell you, they're trying, okay? So give them the benefit of the doubt, even though in the past they didn't show up, okay? They're just slow. <laughs> like, they're, they're making plans. What did I say? They're slow, but they're coming through. And um, maybe it's been a long time coming, but within a year, or maybe it's been a year, your person has been working on a plan to give you some kind of an offer. And I see maybe within a month, which is by the time your birthday comes around, they're going to make you an offer. So this is a really beautiful uh, reading, Leo. You're not seeing this, but I really feel like behind the scenes, your person is working on something and you're like, well, I, I, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> you know, right now they can't uh, manifest this because there is a blockage, but they're working on it. Okay. It's not over yet and they want to get out of the separation so let's see honestly i feel that you're dealing with a twin flame connection or a high level soul partner your person is releasing an ax they're trying to be creative on how they can let this one go so that they can spend time with you around your birthday i feel like it's your birthday okay maybe both of you have birthdays in the month of like at the end of july going into august that's what I'm feeling. Let's see. So I really feel like maybe a children is a factor for someone. Okay. Not everyone is dealing with the child situation, but the reason why it's very difficult for this person to get out of a relationship with someone is because they have children with each other. Okay. If your person does not have children, I really feel like they don't have much to offer you in the physical and they realize this. So, um, there is some sort of clarity that um, they're actually opening up towards spirit about healing their past wounds and dealing with an ex. So I feel that now that clarity is coming towards your person, they're actually working on healing themselves. Instead of feeling hopeless and helpless over this third party situation, they're actually having some sort of uh, uh, recognition. Now, Leo, you're not seeing this. You don't believe it. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. But they are. So, wow, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> now, you could be done with a cancer, okay? And I saw that a little bit earlier on in the channeling. For some, you're dealing with a cancer, and they're trying to figure out which way to go. Where to go from nowhere to to you, right? They've come to awareness that they want reunion. Within four days to four weeks, your person may be, may be going your way. They're finally seeing that um, they need to get out of their head, especially if they're the emotional type, okay? I feel like uh, they're finally getting out of their head and they realize that they want to contact you they're a little bit guarded. They're still possible. Okay, for some, they're still holding on to the karmic situation, but it's not like they're holding on to it. They're still in it, but they're not completely invested. They have to ride the wave, okay, is what I'm feeling. Yes, because if you're dealing with a water sign, 
I feel like this water sign uh, acts as if they don't have feelings for you. But if they're coming towards you and making their presence known, they do have feelings. They're, they're just crappy at expressing it, okay? That's why I really feel like, you know, um, you're not calling in your soulmate. You don't understand how they come off. Why are they coming back towards you if they're not expressing their feelings? You don't get it. You want to be nurtured. You want to be, uh, you know, kind of uh, like in, in the vibration of being recognized, you know. You want... Um, you want to feel loved. You want to feel loved. And, you know, for your person over here, they're not really showing it, but they make an appearance. But I really feel like it's because they're still stuck in a karmic situation. But I really feel like your person is changing. Okay. They had a hard time of making a decision. They know that this is some sort of destined connection. They know that uh, this is a past life relationship. They're feeling this spiritually. And they just want a new beginning. So they're going to do something about it. It may not be now, but in the coming weeks, uh, they're leading up to the point where they're going to actually contact you. That's what I'm feeling. Yes, they're just waiting for the right time. Right now, uh, they're possibly not communicating to you. You know, I feel like for, for weeks, four days, something like that. Okay, this person needs time. They need time to really think about how they can approach you. That's why they're trying to be creative about releasing their ex. And they're thinking about their past and why they're so guarded. Now, this is a repeat energy that I'm seeing here. This person is always in their head, but I feel like within a week, possibly a day, your person is realizing that they need to do something, okay? They're holding back. They're not really expressing themselves, but they definitely want to uh, come and celebrate with you. If, if this person comes through and it's just for a rendezvous with drinks or whatnot, but they're not really showing up with their feelings just know that it's there but they're they're not showing you they can't let you go okay but they do want to be fair they're getting out of a relationship and it's a struggle for them okay they have to get out of a relationship before they can actually be a hundred towards you so that's the reason why you're uh really guarded leo that's the feeling i'm getting so let's see what else spirit how does this person reveal or express their love towards you so when your person comes through how are they going to show you that they love you slow dancing y'all like to dance <laughs> good morning text stargazing you know they really do admire you and they like it um when you smell good maybe they told you that you smell good and they just like sniff you or something <laughs> and hiking so this person really wants to maybe go for a walk or actually go a uh, real-time hiking out to the mountains or in the woods maybe in the park they want to watch the stars with you so this is really beautiful so let's go ahead and see what else what else does your person want to uh, say to you at this time spirit what messages want to come through for the sign of Leo. What are the messages that want to come through? Please, Spirit. Is it possible to forgive and forget? Anything else? Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you. It's me. You've been in my dreams. So they've been thinking of you a lot. 
I'm a better person because of you and my heart is just telling me just do it so I really feel like Leo if your person is in a karmic relationship their heart is telling them to just do it they need to release their ex but they're trying to be creative they need time though but I really feel like this is the lead up to where they can uh, actually be with you in the physical so they're not uh, feeling guilty uh, consciously okay for seeing you especially if they're in a commitment with someone else that's what i'm getting uh that's what i'm seeing so let me know if that resonates with you all so let's go ahead and see spirit what is the guidance message that you have for leo at this time so if this reading is resonant with you or the cross watcher who is watching this is your guidance message spirit please bring forth clear messages towards leo to see what is what is your guidance at this time dealing with this person thank you we have peace there is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully so this has something to do with divine timing okay uh you have um an awareness okay you're paying attention to the red flags you're aware okay that your person needs to let go of an ex now i see that there's um you don't understand your person you're not calling them in okay i really feel like you uh, already set boundaries towards this person and it's up to this person to do the work okay i really feel very strongly that this is a twin flame uh, a high level soulmate connection and the guidance is peace just be at peace of what is and let things unfold naturally it may take time but i really feel like if this is your person leo they're gonna try and make it uh to where they could be with you around your birthday okay and so they're really having that in mind but also uh if they're attached to someone or something they're trying to be creative and letting that thing go okay because they know that this is a past life relationship with you they're uh, connected with you in 5d consciousness you're just not seeing this but what you're seeing in the 3d is your reality but just know if you just open up and connect with them in spirit then you can actually feel this person's vibration and know that uh it is okay to be at peace with the situation okay so i hope that was confirmation for someone let me know thank you all for all your comments your likes your shares and subscribes and if you're new to my channel welcome i provide daily guidance messages here for the collective and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me you can visit me on my website it's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com and you can also follow me on ig as scorpio moon intuition and as i'm saying this it is one 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 so i feel like uh, this this is a specific message and i see here number 22 on my screen guys okay so there is a new reading that i am offering on my website it is called what's next okay so uh if you feel like you need additional guidance if you feel like you're resonating with this particular channeling and you want to know what is next uh that is coming towards you okay between you and your person or maybe uh maybe a potential new love interest um the reading is on sale until the 5th today as i'm recording this today is the 4th of july and so if you guys are interested it is on sale you could book it at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com i hope everyone has a lovely day and i'll see you next time Bye bye